Meghan Markle has been warned she has no future working with Prince Harry and needs to go it alone to save her career. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex took a major blow last month when their lucrative Spotify deal came to an end after just one season of Meghan's Archetypes podcast. The loss has sparked questions over what the couple will do for their next project, but an insider claimed Meghan's team have told her to go solo. The insider told Closer Magazine, her team have warned her that there's no future with Harry and that she needs to start working on her individual projects rather than being seen as one half of Brand Sussex. They feel that if Meghan does more on her own, she'll have more opportunities to save her career. It will give them breathing room and restore confidence, or at least that's the hope. Announcing the Spotify split, the couple's company Archwell said, Spotify and Archwell Audio have mutually agreed to part ways and are proud of the series we made together. However, it wasn't all amicable as just a day later, head of podcast innovation and monetization at Spotify, Bill Simmons, branded the couple grifters. In a foul-mouthed rant, the boss said, that's the podcast we should have launched with them. I've got to get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try and help him with a podcast idea. It's one of my best stories. Commenting on the snub, the insider claimed it left Megan distraught and can't believe she's been attacked so viciously and so publicly by one of their execs. They added, it served as a brutal reality check that things really do need to change to save their popularity. In another blow to the couple U.S. official rejected their application to trademark archetypes. However, the couple still has their Netflix deal in place with the streaming giant confirming the company deeply values their partnership. A spokesman for Netflix reports, Our exciting journey with them isn't ending anytime soon. We're currently collaborating on numerous projects, including the much-anticipated documentary series Heart of Invictus.